With Worlds 2024 around the corner and the playoff series for all the regions having been concluded, I wanted to take some time to talk about how watching co-streams has actually made me a better League of Legends player. Now, I can't imagine this is a common take. I feel like most people watch co-streams because of the entertainment value or simply to experience the matches through their favorite League of Legends personalities instead of the regular broadcast talent. Sure, people might have learned a thing or two about champion interactions, map movements on the pro level, or pro player backstories, but I don't think people are fully grasping the value that co-streams provide to the average below diamond ladder enthusiast. Since I'm back from my hiatus and trying to climb to master again, having these coach streams are seriously helping me get my mental right and equipping me with some very useful tips and tricks that's given me a nice little boost before my ranked grind. If you guys are new here, my name is Rabies. I'm just a talentless guy who started in bronze and got to diamond. I make unique climbing content that everyone can understand and implement. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, do the usual YouTube stuff and like and subscribe. The first and biggest way that coach streams have helped me become a better player is through understanding the value of turrets and cross mapping. Now, Cajol is particularly good at this because he goes into animated tirades about how a team is inting because they fought at a dragon when they shouldn't have and it would have been better for them if they simply cross mapped a tier 2 top turret or something. Before I watched his code streams, I never really understood the power of taking turrets and how the gold and map mobility it affords you can be instrumental in setting up potential win conditions in the future. Cadro puts turrets on the same status as dragons. There are objectives to play around and they have massive immediate rewards upon acquiring them. This is sort of different from dragons obviously where there's sort of like a delayed gratification element to them where you have to wait until you scale to benefit off the soul. Now before this, I always thought of them as things to be played around and they'll eventually fall in the middle of a siege or something. But thinking of turrets as objectives actually gives me a lot of direction in the game. Now the game simply isn't about dragons, grubs or heralds anymore. There's another objective to be played around and this can help broaden your outlook on the game and look at different win conditions to play through. Piggybacking off the points about turrets, another important thing I've learned from Kedro is cross mapping. Now as a mid player while the first tip is very useful for the mid game playstyle, the second one is basically the cornerstone of my entire shtick. Cross mapping is an extremely useful concept to learn because it will save your ass so many times in the mid game. Say your team is behind and third dragon is coming up. Instead of going to your inevitable doom and losing the game at third dragon, why not spam ping baron and try to cheese it? You wouldn't believe how many times I've gotten away with this. Whenever I play norms with friends or even when I'm playing ranked in diamond MMR, my opponents are always taken aback by how I'm able to come back in tough games or just simply turbo stomp a game altogether because I was able to discern when the right time was to go for Baron. If the entire enemy team is congregating on a big objective fight, remember that there's always other options available. It's not always a fight to the death, guys. Don't run headfirst into a death sentence when, I've discussed in my first tip, there are so many other objectives you can take to even out the game and bring it back in your favor. The third thing that coach streams have really helped me with is the motivation to keep playing ranked. Oftentimes, I find myself either making these videos for you guys or doing IRL stuff on the weekends where I really should be getting more games in. Watching cold streams, especially hype matchups, just fills you with that desire to go out there and try to emulate what you just saw in the game. Seeing some of the best players in the world go at it, with some of the greatest and knowledgeable League of Legends minds breaking down their every single move, is such a potent stimulus for motivation, even when you feel tired and done after your block. Normally, I'm super tired after playing three games simply because how much I'm trying to push my awareness to the absolute limit, and I don't really have much in the tank after that. However, after seeing Kajol or Dom get hyped about big games, it's such a huge boost of energy for me that I'm completely completely recharged to go back for another block. It feels like you're in a very fun League of Legends lecture that teaches you all sorts of shit about the game and you can't wait to test the theories that you've just learned and put them into practice. Now that's it for today guys, just a short little video on my thoughts about co streams and how they can be useful learning tips. I don't usually comment farm on my videos but I really want to know how co streams has helped you guys in your own journeys. Is there an angle I didn't cover? What are some ways that watching co streams have made you a better League of Legends player? I'm super genuinely curious. And while you're down there, obviously like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this and I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, anyone can get diamond.